Hey guys, I got this Gamo Swarm Magnum 22 caliber air rifle a few days ago, almost last week. So I haven't been able to shoot it, but I'm going to go over a quick mounting of the scope as well as some other things I found out about this air rifle as, as well as a pellet review real quick. Oh, by the way, if you a quick tip, if you don't want to see all the shopping reviews and other stuff I, I get um, and you want us to subscribe to this channel, you might want to subscribe to the playlist for air rifles and air guns. It might be a lot simpler and also recreational stuff. Anywho, moving on, let's go ahead and install the scope. So I'm putting the included scope on the um, the Gamo Maxim that I came with, which is pretty cool. Also the included um, Allen wrench that it comes with. Pretty cool, I'm just loosening it up and so I can put it onto the dovetail and basically reading the quick instructions. I just need to find that pin and align the hole, put it in, and then tighten the center one and the rear one, the front one. Then basically do some sighting. You know, since this is already calibrated for like I think 25 yards, it should be pretty simple to do it on the range. Um, so, anywho, let's go on. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen up some of these uh, screws so that we could just basically put it over the dovetail and then tighten it over the dovetail. It's really that simple. It doesn't take more than about five minutes or less to do this. Um, I sped up the video because I was going really slow. And anywho, long story short, just find that align, align the uh, the two the pin and the pin hole together with a rail at the uh, rifle rail, and basically just I took off the thing, so it was it was kind of bothering it. But um, tighten the center one, then tighten the rear one and the front one, and then you're pretty much done. Not much else you have to do with this as long as that pin and the hole on the scope and also the rail matches and aligns so there's no movement, which is really cool. Um, very neat that they actually come with a pretty good scope already, so I, I usually don't upgrade my scope until I actually have to. Uh, but the another good thing, it's interesting about the scope is that the adjustment screws on top you know, for sighting is actually very easy to adjust. You don't even need a tool, you just have to screw the top and you know twist. And you don't even need like a little, you know, coin or screwdriver or anything. Just basically twist it and, and adjust it. Anyways, just finger tight is fine so that it doesn't move around. And then do a finishing uh, tighten for all three. And then you're basically done. The difference about this, the Magnum versus the Maxim, not only is the power, but also the pistol grip. So after mounting the scope, basically it is taller than that of the Maxim. So putting it in the Maxim case doesn't seem to fit anymore. You need a sleeve or a rifle case that's about more than 50 inches in length and also somewhere that has enough uh, space for the sight or the scope on the top. So I'm going to have to go shop for another bag because this, the one I use for my Maxim, Gamma Maxim Swarm, didn't work. It's too small. So I'm also going to do a quick um, review of all these pellets and stuff. I'll be shooting all these pellets through these guns. And how I'm going to do it, I'm going to basically, I have several of those um, rotary clips, the 10, 10 pellet rotary clips that I'm going to basically load up with uh, the Gamma ammo as well as the Crossman or the Benjamin uh, Discovery ammo. And I'm going to shoot five from the Maxim, shoot five off the Magnum, and it should be pretty fun. Um, to see the comparison of, you know, how they shoot as well as um, how easy are they to, you know, how their performance is against, you know, different materials. And I'm going to also get a chronograph so I can measure how fast these things go. Then that's the fun part. I just ordered a chronograph. It'll probably be in in about a week or so, or probably two weeks, probably by August. I have no idea. But either way, I just plan to shoot and have some fun anyways. I do have the Premier Hollow Point, the Master uh, Point, as well as... Um, the TS long distance one from Gamo, as well as the Gamo Platinum PBA, the Gamo Hunter, and the Gamo Mag Magnum. You could tell that it's uh, the only one here that's not lead is that uh, PBA one from Gamo, and it's also the most expensive uh, pellet that I have. Uh, roughly, these things are 50 pellets for $15, so it's very pricey. So I'm going to shoot sparingly on those. Also, I have the Ultimate Hunting Pellet Collection from uh, Benjamin. Um, Discovery, which is pretty neat, but they seem very much like the Crossman ones uh, in terms of weight and size and everything else like that. So, no big deal. It's a pretty inexpensive uh, pellet. I also have a AWS scale. This is a, more of like a jeweler scale, so I could, you know, basically measure uh, chemicals and other stuff like that, and so I could do my mix. This is actually a 500 gram uh, calibration weight, and to calibrate it, what you do is just turn it on. 
hit the mode button for about, about five seconds until it says calibrate and blinks. And again, I'll leave the links for all the stuff in the description below, whether it's the scale, the weight, the uh, gamma pellets, and also the rifles, which I bought on Amazon as well. No big deal. It's all good. Everything's um, pretty cool too. But you probably realize that I basically labeled the magazines as well as the different ammo. Um, so I could do this uh, quick review and stuff like that. So overall, it'll be, it should be pretty fun shooting with these and having those um, labels there doesn't really stop, doesn't hurt the mechanism mechanism at all. You just put the right on top and the mechanism still like a few millimeters above it. So can't wait to shoot both of them and let's go on and do some testing. Why well, I noticed that uh, the hollow points, they're pretty much at one gram to um, point, you know, or point nine grams because these um, Crossroom Premier hollow points are actually 14.3 grain. So what I'm doing is that I'm basically grabbing three of them just to make sure they're consistent. So most of the time they're, they've are they been hitting at about one gram or 0.9. So I'm probably thinking they're probably that point, you know, 0.95 you know, grams of weight. The next one being the uh, Master Point. These again are kind of um, the same thing as the other, but they're consistently one gram. In, in weight because the master point is actually you know 15.43 grains so but gamma is actually consistent with their weight of these pellets so it's pretty cool uh, the next one is the TS-22 these are long distance um, pellets from gamma 1.4 grams and these are actually 22 grain pellets so that you could shoot further targets I guess with all that mass um, but these are basically target shooting you know pellets the master point of course too is a, is more of a target than anything else than than hunting but you can use that for hunting as well the next one of course is the super light uh, pvas these are supposed to go really fast they're alloy and they're also not uh, metal uh, lead i mean and they're 0. 0.6 grams and that's because they are 9.7 grains in total in uh, grain in weight and pretty interesting in, in that point that that's how they get to 1300 FPS and I can't wait to shoot this in a chronograph which I ordered um, that should be pretty fun to shoot and I should see if it actually does go that fast again the PBAs are one of the most expensive um, uh, pellets out there they cost me about 50 of them cost me about $15 retail so pricey I hope it's worth it um, the other one where it's the hunter and the magnum is pretty cool the hunter is pretty consistent at about one gram um, Magnum as well, they're about one gram as well. So um, these are actually hunting pellets, which is pretty nice. And they are about like 15.43 grain for both of them. Actually, the hunter is actually a little different. The hunter is actually 15.42. So it might vary a little, but overall, not bad. They're, they're still floating about one gram a piece. And these are roughly, what, $5 a tin of 250. So five to six bucks per ten. Um, so that's pretty cool. Another, the interesting thing is that like the Gamo, um, what was it? The Gamo Master Point was actually, actually the long range one was actually pretty expensive too. The long range TS 22s were about 200 of them for about, um, about 11 bucks or 10 bucks. Anywho. Uh, the most expensive one is that PBA, and the second one was that TS TW TS22. So, oh well, not much difference here. So the last one, of course, is this um, Benjamin Discovery one. Sorry, it's getting really late. Benjamin Discovery uh, pellets. These are pretty neat. They're all float around, you know, point point nine um, grams to one gram. And they're very similar to the Crossman ones. I think they're actually the same manufacturer. And that's basically the um, destroyer model of those. They have the hollow points, the destroyer, the dome stuff. Basically the destroyer ones are one gram, but they fluctuate between one gram and you know, 0.9, just like the other ones too. Um, overall, not bad. They're very fairly inexpensive pellets. Same thing with the Crossman ones. They're roughly about, you know, 10 bucks or 9 bucks for that, that assortment pack, which is pretty cool. 
Um, the Gamma ones are actually more the pricier ones in those low tens. I haven't tried um, uh, JSPs or the other ones yet. Probably in the future I will. Um, and they're actually not too bad in pricing as well. So I'll leave a few links below for these. And I can't wait to test out other ones too. In fact, I can't wait to test out these, as a matter of fact. So, pretty cool. Um, overall, I just want I was just curious, so that's why I'm actually doing this one. But feel free, you know, this is um, just a quick test of how these things feel and how um, how their weight differences and the quality okay. differences. I noticed that the quality for the Benjamin Discovery are pretty consistent gram, in terms of weight gram. as well as um, the thing similar to the thing. The quality it doesn't get you know it's, at one. it's pretty well made. The gammas are a little different. I see some, um, mm. the skirts are kind of, sometimes they're not exactly round, which is kind of interesting, especially with the TS-22, the skirts are not round. The PBAs are extremely expensive, mm -hmm. and, but they're, okay. you know, they're quality yeah. shots. So basically they should be at, at that price. Basically it's almost 15 bucks or 50. Uh, but the Premier, for the value for the buck, the Premier, the shoots are about two cents a, a shot. So pretty awesome. So there you have it. There's all the weights and stuff. Like again, I'm, I'm gonna probably, I can't wait to shoot this, um, measured and basically put in, loaded all these uh, pellets into the magazines. I did figure out that the, I think the match point and also the uh, Crossman uh, Premier hollow points were really snug on these, um, on these magazines. In fact, the hollow point was a little bit, you know, the master point, I'm sorry, it was really snug and the hollow point as well. And you know, all the other ones were very, quite loose. You know, all the gamma ones were very loose. It went right through except for the gamma um, master point. As you can see, there's almost no um, tolerance or you know, with it. Uh, I haven't tried the ultimate hunting pellet assortment, but I assume it's relatively the same as the Premier from Crossman. So, yeah, just get your ramrod ready because maybe some of these might jam in, like how I did for the Maxim. But for the Maxim, I shot over what three four hundred you know rounds on that thing and i used basically the um gamo pellets the gam no well actually i used gamo and also the um the crossman premier hollow points and shoot fine with the maxim i haven't tried with the magnum so i can't wait i'm also using these cleaning cotton pads um cotton pellets after about every 200 uh, shots just to make sure to clean the barrel and stuff um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a pistol grip versus a, you know, tr traditional rifle grip. And I can't wait to shoot at the rifle grip is for the max Maxim one. That's why you basically have to buy a new case for the, um, the Magnum because of the taller scope and the pellet, the, the pistol grip and thumb, the thumb pass through. Anyways, guys, please like, subscribe and all the fun stuff. Again, hit that uh, playlist for air guns one that to do the to see that other than seeing all the other shopping ones i'm sure you like both i'm, I'm cool with either but please like subscribe and click the bell button for more notifications for more um videos coming up on this channel thanks for watching guys see you next time can't wait to shoot this thing